Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Scott and Noe here with Noe Lawn Care. And we have a, there we go, SRM 266T. Let's do some work on it, what do you say? done it again we got another <clears throat> piece of equipment to work on and I've already know I already know that it's been sitting for a while so I went ahead and got a little uh, $10 Amazon carburetor try it out why not why not I did happen to have <clears throat> extra pieces to an old speed feed head only thing I needed was the cap and spring so there's that. Um, <clears throat> I went ahead and put a new air filter on it, spark plug, uh, fuel filter, you know, started messing with it, cleaned out the tank, new fuel, still wasn't firing off. So I should have gone ahead and got the carburetor kit, but I didn't, I'm a dummy. It already has two air filters, two primer bulbs, a fuel filter, spark plug, You've got your fuel lines, two gaskets, and of course the carburetor. Most of that's already replaced, but we'll keep that with us. Never know when you might need it. Let's get to unscrewing on this. Had a little bit of rain in the forecast. Can't really mow anything right now so let's get some work done ooh somebody's had that off before let's put a flat head on it there you go big girl yeah somebody's had this off before because the Phillips head part of that is well rounded off. So, again, I do not mess with carburetors, but there was not a gasket there, and there's not a gasket there, so I am not putting a gasket there. That's just simple logic, right? Like, that's, that's what you're supposed to do. Um, now, of course, these chickens are going to ruin this video. That'd be okay. Huh? Right? Oh. 
I see. So do you just come straight up? How do you come off, my friend? Oh, man. The more, the more, you know. It's just, let me tell you guys what. New carburetor comes with one, so why not use a new one? Should I just leave it in there? I guess I should, right? No reason to mess up a good thing. Let's pull this guy back out. Wait a minute. You gotta bring that over here. <laughs> One second. Look at how spoiled these chickens are. Mind you, that's a good bacon pan that's no, on there. No, we don't use this pan. This is now my chicken pan. Is that your chicken pan? Yeah. <laughs> is that your chicken pan? I turn around and she has applesauce and blueberries and tomatoes. I mean, I guess. There's a store. I had needed the can. I had applesauce that came in a can. So I was like, well, I'm not going to feed that to the kids. So let's feed it to the chickens. They like applesauce. So I emptied the can out, cleaned it out, and I was like, well, I got some blueberries going bad. Now, on the verge, they're, they're probably still edible. And then some tomatoes. You know, I could probably cut, cut some of this off. It's still, still pretty good. These chickens are so spoiled. <laughs> It's ridiculous. And then they make noise in the video and they're loud and but make noise. I come back and I'm rewarded with eggs. Come back and rewarded with eggs. That's right, you better give us eggs. You might be or else they're gonna go on the grill. All right, sorry about that. This lady and her chickens. If you got a wife that's got chickens and you understand where I'm coming from, comment down below. We, uh, we gotta stick together on this, guys. Oh, you know what I did? I put that in the wrong side. It needs to be a complete 180. And now we can hook up. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Okay. And this. Okay. All right, cool. So that does have a gasket. And I have that gasket. So I will replace that one. If I can get it off. I'm messing up over here now. Pumpkin. Okay. Now, I guess since we have that off already. I've got the fuel line kit. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. 
and then we can trim up these lines. Obviously, are way too long. Let's do this. It's going to be returned. That might be right. Okay. So, bada bing, bada boom. Let's get that done. These other two don't really need to be quite that long. And then my left needs to have the fuel filter. This is the fuel filter that I just put on, so I know it's good. I'm going to put it back on. down below let me know how dumb I am um screw it let's do it we're gonna go right there
Okay. Oh, maybe you can hang my sign up for me too. trouble with this thing for some reason. Uh, I guess maybe my fuel lines are too long. I mean, supposed to be. fuel in it at all, so, hello telephone, alright, let's see if we can't crank this thing. Promising. Uh oh. Fuel coming out of the cap because it's not on. Mm.
let's go for the old speed feed head. Why not? Okay. All of your Echo products are going to have your, well, it should be all the string trimmers in general, but they're going to have your uh, little piece there. Oh, that's going to be tightening. That's going to be loosening. So you want to just run it along, spin it until you find it kind of thing. I've already got it loose. But yep, there she blows. I'm not going to use any of that. I'll try to, oh, look at me. Wrong way, Scotty. Get out of here. All right, and then again, to get it tight, Find your hole. There it is. And tighten her down real good. And there she be. Let's uh, let's put some string in it and let's give her a whirl, huh? All right. So we got our string about two arms lengths twice. Just go one, two, cut it off. And then, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but there's a little arrow right there. Match it up with your hole. And when you pull it back, you can see it through the light. You can kind of see it. All the way through. Cannot beat a speed feed head. I love these things. All right. Come on. I guess now we know she's gonna run she's gonna do good let's go ahead and throw ooh well that's not bad where you at where you go not bad grease bless you Mallory <laughs> uh, uh oh come on I've got you on my jack handle and it's not really wanting to do good i have found a little thingy thing good thing we got kids we got leftover syringes from their little medicines and stuff oh bingo all right so yeah let's see if this stuff will come in oh Oh, this is gonna be a mess. All right, all right, all right. We can do this, we can do this. If I get something here. Oh no, what did we do? Oh, we pulled in a bunch of air, that's what we did. That didn't work bad. Uh, 
No, it didn't. I, I actually put it all the way up to the end and kind of just forced it in there and it worked pretty decently. Let's see if we can get some more. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now that we found this out, we might as well go ahead and do the rest of the trimmers. <laughs> These bugs are about to get on my nerves. I guess, oh, well, yep, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, it'll tell me when too much is too much. It just won't take it anymore. And I couldn't even get it out of my mouth and it already. Okay. Let's leave a little bit of a little air bubble in there. Sweet. Well, guys, we got a good working trimmer. I am very happy. Let's go try it out.
no? Yeah, yeah, it feels about the same as mine. I like it. It's a little bit I heavier, but. Couldn't see what I was doing. Oh, well maybe that's true. I'm trying to protect my eyes, not break my glasses. like it edging but it's a good string trimmer though not bad at all yeah cool cool another piece of equipment saved from the junkyard <laughs> thanks to noe lawn care good job <laughs> you said what you can clean it up for me now and we can put it online and sell it oh that's not what I thought you were going to talk about. I was just thinking, now who's going to clean all that up? Not me. Not me. Nose goes. <laughs>